So our final conclusion would be um, you think it's about grouping, but it's mostly about sharing and as it is in RSI. So um, I would like to acknowledge, um, first of all, Jeremy Wolf and Maria Norfang and all the staff of the Visual Attention Lab for all the advice, help, and like interesting questions that they gave me. Also, my wonderful tutor, Janice Sandova, who's helping me a lot, and like it's kind of my grandmother here in RSI. I love her. And um, also the RSI program, the CEE and MIT, to give me the opportunity to be, to be here giving this talk today. Um, the Fundació Caixa Catalunya, which is the foundation that gives me the opportunity to come to this program. And finally, uh, the RSI staff, students, all the TAs, Shirley to correct my article with wonderful comments, and all of the RSI staff to share the experience with me. Oh, by the way, uh, Waldo was here. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for your attention and I hope you enjoyed the talk. All right, do we have any questions? Yeah. You looked at uh, zero, one, or two shared features. Uh, what is the mathematical relationship between the number of shared features and if you were to go beyond us to shared features and the reaction time? Is it linear, is it quadratic, um, is it uh, exponential? The question is about the mathematical relationship between what were to happen if you were to have more than two shared features. Uh, okay, I actually, I'm not quite sure about answer because like my, my math knowledge is not so, so good, I guess. But, um, okay, let's find a graph. Oh, no, I passed the graph. Oh, here. Um, we actually want to do an experiment uh, trying with uh, not triple conjunction but four conjunction displays. Let's see how it uh, evolves. I would say that Actually, what we, we try an experiment, and what we see it, well, no, we don't try the experiment. No, it doesn't work. It wasn't this one. Oh my god, my memory sucks. Um, well, um, but uh, I guess, I mean, I don't know because we don't have done the experiment, but I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer the question. I'm sorry. But, like, yeah. We, we, can, we can try to look at that at some point for the, for the research of the interesting. Are there any more questions from the judges? Okay, over here. You have a question? Yeah, I have a question. What is the potential application of your project? I mean, can it be extended to cases beyond these three shapes? Yeah, um, yes. the question is about the potential application of the problem and can it be extended beyond these three shapes? Okay, yeah, actually, these three shapes look, look like a kid's game. I know that. But um, the, like, the, last goal in the visual search uh, studies is like for example to help um, you know, for example when you have a when you're a, a, how it's called a doctor like and you have a, like a, a, a image of a mammogram and you want to look for cancer in this mammogram which um, how do you have to look for the cancer to actually found it like give uh, strategies, for example, in this, in, in medical search, and also, for example, in the airports, when you're looking for a bomb in a baggage, and like, you have a lot of images and you have to look quick to these images and try to find something, which, um, I don't know how to say it in English, but like, yeah, which uh, ways you can like, improve uh, your capacity to find it more accurately and more fast. Yeah, right here. On this graph, is this just based off two data sets for set sizes, or is there a lin an actual linear relation between the set size increasing and the reaction time? Uh, this graph is based in the data. So I think that's, oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, the question was whether there were just the two set sizes or whether there was an actual linear relation. Um, this, this graph is just based in the data. I mean, I don't understand quite well your question, so. Just one for like 28 ob objects and then one for 54 objects? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, there's no, like, yeah. It's just based in the data. The lines here, it's like, draw it linear. There's no um, 
function behind this. But um, yeah, there's no function. It's data. All right, over here. Um, why don't you repeat the question? <laughs> okay, uh, no, better you repeat the question because no, like repeat the question oh. into the microwave, in, huh? into the microphone. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Um, the the question um, you give a long explanation and I like get lost at some points. But like um, no, if I don't understand it well, it's like there's some uh, yeah. You compared the case of having one in common with the case of having zero, one, or two in common, and wouldn't it be a good idea to split it up to have zero and one and two? Is that your question? Okay. Uh, it actually the search I've been is like uh, continue past searches that. Um, my mentors have done on this. Um, I think that, okay, let's find a display in, in the, and uh, now I know which slide you want me to uh, use. This one, I think? No. No, 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 where is the slide? Where is the slide? No. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even, ah, this one. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay. Um, the thing is that uh, yeah, it has been past research. I um, I actually uh, we n but not like proof with zero, with one, or with two. Okay. We just proof like um, if there's a lot of things. Actually, this is one of the things that we wanted to do for further research, like uh, do a variation in the to uh, sharing um, the sharing features conditions. But I think that, well, okay, I think that we did it that way because, okay, I don't know how to answer that. And actually I'm answering quite bad to other questions. <laughs> but um, I think that we Big that like because this is the original experiment. Here, all is kind of uh, all is different. And here we wanted to do some kind of relation. This is the basic experiment. Then there's there were another experiments when we tried from this experiment, and the idea was to variate the number of groups, but not the number of groups uh, sharing uh, zero, one, or two, but the number of groups sharing just one feature. And the zero, one, or two condition was used as a control uh, display. So um, the thing is that, yeah, when we said that there was like an interesting relation, we keep on going this way, but like that, because it comes from past researches that have been done like this, but there's not like a very, a clear answer to why you haven't done zero, one, or two. Because, well, the past experiment was like this, and then we wanted to keep on using this method. But, like, this does this, this answer your question? Okay, right. That's all the time for questions we have. Thank you very much. Thank you.